Oh shit, this is a good one right here. What's up guys, it's Jen the Grinder coming at y'all with a brand new video. Today I'm doing something that could piss a lot of people off, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, not too long ago I made a cartoon tier list. It's doing pretty well, so I'm thinking let me do another one. You know, cause that's getting some good feedback. A lot of people don't like what I had to say about certain shows or whatever. But, like I said, it's my opinion, I can do what I want. So today, we're doing a rapper tier list. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of rappers to choose from right here. There's definitely a few that are missing, but for now, we got a lot to choose from here, so. We got S, A, B, mid, worse than mid, and then I don't wanna just get, I don't wanna unfairly judge people I don't listen to. And then we got the ass category, the ass. Before we get into it, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel. Comment, tell me what you guys think about what I got to say. Tell me what you think I should have did. Oh, share the video with your friends as well. Without further ado, let's get right to it. I think we get the bots out the way first. Look at this trash ass nigga right here. This nigga think he deserve 100 bands. He is ass. Namir is ass. He's been ass for like five years, nigga. Namir is horrible. He's going in the ass category. Now, to be in the same category as Namir, you gotta really be on some shit. So, another trash can is French Montana. Boom. Trash can. French Montana get carried on every big song he ever been on. That's facts. Bad baby. She don't even make music no more. Her methods of getting rich, uh, yeah, it's a little different. But, when she was making music, it was pretty ass. Like, seriously, dog shit. Ass. When it comes to being ass, you have to do you have to be pretty bad for me to put you in ass. Cause I listen to a lot of I listen to a lot of rappers. Smoke perp. There he is. That freestyle he did. I'm a motherfucking stoner. I'm a motherfucking boner. I got a motherfucking boner. I can't believe they let him I can't believe they let him get away with that shit. <laughs> that freestyle was so bad. Yeah, but smoke perp is ass. Mm, designer's pretty ass. We you got panda, but designer's pretty bad, like. He had a double XL freshman freestyle. He wasn't saying shit in there. It's pretty bad. Oh, I almost forgot. Lil Xan. I don't know. If that video was posted anywhere else but Lyrical Lemony, I don't know if it would have blew up. I don't know who this is, but look at his cut. Like, come on, let's be real. You're dog shit. All right. If I don't listen to them, they're about to go in. Don't listen. I'm, by, I'm basing this based on their prime. Even if, in hindsight, the song was ass. I don't remember it being t this bad. Like, if you bump it, then it's whatever. Now, when I say don't listen, doesn't mean I don't have to not know them. Nigga, I was born in 2005. I am not bumping Biggie or Tupac. I'm not gonna lie. No, I'm just not bumping. I'm not bumping for. I'm not bumping none of these niggas, bro. Yep, this looks good. Okay, so we did the ass category, and everyone here is not ass. So we're gonna start with the D tier. You would have been an ass, but you have a few bangers that make it so I can't put you in ass. Yeah, like if in hindsight you're ass and you have a Grammy award, I have to put you in D. Let's start with Cardi B. Cardi B is dog shit, but I can't just downplay what she's done in her career. She's D tier, can't put her in ass. Boom, Famous Dex. Famous Dex used to have bangers back in the day. I don't know what happened to him. He's like on all types of shit. I don't know what's wrong with him. Boom, another D. Landon Cube. I only know like two songs from him and they're both with Lil Skies. Is he even like a rapper for real? I don't know. The only two songs I know from him, he has features with Lil Skies. Rich the Kid. Mmm. Cardi B's in D, Rich the Kid is also in D. Facts. The Game. I was born in 05. The Game is horrible to me. I do not bump the game. MGK. D. Horrible. Black Boy JB. Shoot. Shoot. Got like two good songs. He got like two or three good songs. So I got to put him in D tier. Everyone else, mmm, nigga tried to get away. G Easy, oh my God. Wait, I don't know. G Easy got a few hits. Ah, I'm not gonna put him there. I'm not gonna put him there. G Easy, G Easy, not that bad. I guess I gotta put Young Gravy here. Young Gravy is D. Well, all right, we're gonna go to the mid tier now. Damn, this might be where I piss niggas off, cause not everybody could be up here. Like niggas about to be mad at me. We're gonna start mid. With 6 9 we're gonna start with Takashi. Takashi's prime needs to be studied because Dash, this nigga went like 11 for 11. But I can't downplay what he's done the past few years either. This music is pretty ass now. Uh, I don't really care about him ratting. I was born in the suburbs, so like, I don't give a fuck about that shit. In general, it's pretty ass. And he tries to use controversy to like boost his new shit. If that's not what fell fall off is, I don't know what is. This is where we can also put. Logic, and this is where we can also put G Easy. This is where they have to go. 
Oh, we go mid again. We're gonna put Tiger. Tiger will also be in the mid category. This is it can't be above B. I gotta put Gucci Main. My nigga, I don't be bumping Gucci Main. What has Gucci Main made? No one's talking about Bruno Mars. Get the bag, and that's it. I don't be bumping Gucci Main. Damn, I, I'm about to hold a lot of niggas. Then if that's the case. Okay, Lil Peep, mid. R.I.P. Lil Peep. He got a few hits. Um. Very iconic in his um, genre of music, but I don't be bumping Lil Peep like that. Sorry. All right, Waka Flock of Flame. We're also gonna put him in mid. All right, Rich Brian, mid. Rich Brian got one of the hits of the, of the 2010s. That stick, Sheck West. I like Sheck West, but I have to put him in mid because he, he has one big song, but he has a few underrated songs that I like a lot. Okay, we're gonna move on to the B tier. We're gonna start with Two Chains B tier. Two Chains got a lot of bangers, but Two Chains not one of my favorite rappers. Another one, A Boogie. A Boogie with the hoodie got a lot of bangers. Not one of my favorites though. A lot of niggas is about to go in this B tier, by the way. Big Sean, Chance the Rapper. This <laughs> one, I think Kanye funny as hell. He told this nigga why his shit flop, bro. Then he got some that made me think he a meme rapper. Like that hot shower bullshit. Corday, B tier. Ice Cube, this is where the old heads start to fall off. As I don't just casually bump them. So I also have to put Snoop Dogg in B. Snoop, these, twos are, these two are legends. But like I said, the time period I was born in, like I'm not obligated to listen to these old guys. Like it's a new wave, so I'll just be bumping their shit. Take K, B tier. Meek Mill. I'm not gonna lie, I should have put Meek Mill in mid. He's pretty, he's pretty fucking mid. If you ask me, I'm not gonna lie. He got one good song. I guess I'll put him in B for that. For that, for that one good song is pretty legendary. I'm not gonna lie, Jesus Nightmares. He got it. He got it with that one. He barely snuck in that shit. Because I don't really bump Meek Mill like that. Speaker knockers. This nigga didn't pass away early. He could have been a legend. So put him in B. The songs I bump from him are tough. Wiz Khalifa is also going in B. YNW Melly is going to go in B. Lil Pump? Shit. This might go against everything I've done. I don't know. I got to put Lil Pump in mid. Lil Pump Prime? I don't care. He wasn't saying shit. But that shit was... You know what I'm saying? That shit had you... Yeah, that shit had you dancing and shit. So I, I gotta put a little pump in mid. Dirk B. Dirk is cool. So I'm really putting all the Migos, all the Migos in B. Prime Little Skies. Prime Little Skies is B. Nigga could have been up here in A, but it wasn't as successful. For me, PMB Rock is also B. B Grizzly, B. T Grizzly got some bangers though. Kevin Gates, B. Denzel Curry, B. Childish Gambino, B. Jay Z, another one of these old niggas. Jay Z isn't that good to me though. Niggas got Jay Z in their top five. I want to know how. I can name 10 niggas that, bat that rap better than him right now. And it's going to be facts. B. All right, yeah, this list is starting to look good. Nipsey, B. Nipsey used some he be on some real West Side shit. I just recently started listening to Nipsey. It's so sad. I didn't know about who's who Nipsey was until he died. It's kinda sad like that. You don't know some of these people until they dead. It makes you want to check them out. This A tier is gonna be fucked. You're you're really gonna be able to know how old I am with this shit, huh? Trippy? Trippy gotta go in B too, bro. Because Trippy ain't been dropping like that. Cardi? I forgot about this nigga right here. I don't like Cardi like that. Young Thug. I'm gonna also put him in B. B tier is not bad. Look at my B tier. It's got rappers in there. Like, it's good rappers, but I just don't listen to them. Good rappers with a bunch of, like, strong fan bases. But I just don't bump them like that. Really. That's what B tier is. Nav, B tier. Is this tough? Is this tough? Gonna? Ah, gonna gonna go in V. Gonna, gonna gotta go in V as well, isn't it? Gunner's gotta go in, and the gunner going be little baby gotta go in B as well. Go, B tier is not bad. Tori, Tori gotta go in B. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I like this. Starting to like this. All right. Yeah, everyone here. All right, we're gonna start with the A tier. This is the B tier right here. If you're in the B tier, I respect you as a rapper. I like your music. I just don't like bump you all the time. Okay, starting the A tier off, we're gonna put the Migos. 
Migos had a hell of a run. 2016 was crazy. They dropped a bunch of bangers, so they got to go there. We're going to put Post Malone in A tier. This nigga has like seven diamond songs. I be singing that shit like, no bullshit. Post Malone got some bangers. Lil Yachty is going to go A. Two years ago, Yachty would have been in like mid to D tier. But this nigga Yachty, for me at least, has been improving tremendously. Tremendously. He's, the way he moves is different. He's been making some hits. ASAP Rocky. Hey, only ASAP member I even listen to. Metro Boom and make it boom. He's not really a rapper, he's a producer. But hey, dropped a great album last year. Made so many legendary beats. Probably the best producer in the game right now. So Metro Boom and make it boom. Ray Shremmer. These are two of the first rappers I started to listen to. Ray Shremmer. They got a bunch of bangers. Like early 2010s, they started. They popped out. Yeah, Ray Shremmer is tough. They got a, a classic songs and shit. Kodak Black. Hey. There's gonna be a theme here. All these 2016 niggas is probably gonna be an A. Ski Master Slump God. Prime? Hey. No bullshit. NBA Young Boy. Grown on me a lot. Young Boy's grown on me. I used to think this nigga was hella mid. Is this Travis? It's Travis Scott, right? Hey. Can't sleep on Travis. Should've won the Grammy, I'm not even gonna lie. How do you wop? Hey. Gotta put that video. Hey. This nigga had like. What summer was it? 2015? Summer 2015. Lockdown. I think it dropped like five songs. All bangers. Ran the summertime. Could have had a release Drake feature. I don't, but I don't know. Niggas is... I don't know. Why wouldn't he do that? That shit would have made him so much money. Whatever. Lil Wayne is A. He's going to be the top of the A tier. And here's why. Obviously, he has like more skill. And he raps better than like everyone here. But I don't listen to enough Lil Wayne to put him in S tier. If I listen to more Wayne, he'd definitely be up here. I just don't listen to enough Wayne to put him in S. Rick Ross. Tough. Gotta put Rick Ross there. The Weeknd. Is The Weeknd even a rapper? I don't know. But he's got like a lot of bangers. Oh shit, I forgot about 21. 21, A. A tier. 21 Savage. Tyler the Creator. A tier. Polo G. This was this nigga Polo G was my favorite rapper for like six months. There was like six a six month span where he did not miss. He dropped that Go album, and then he dropped Rap Star, and then I, th I think it was a year time period. Yeah, he was like my favorite rapper. I had a playlist full of him, but then he kept making sad songs. So like it kind of got repetitive for me. Piano G, he really was a bunch of piano beats like no bullshit. So this might make some people mad. Don't listen to enough Kendrick. Same thing. Same. Shit with um, same shit with um, Lil Wayne. I probably like him more. Put I'm gonna put Cole here too. All right, these three are like the top of the A tier for the simple fact that if I listen to them more, they would definitely be S. Nigga, obviously these are three of the greatest rappers ever of this generation. Facts. Nigga, I'm 18. I can't be bumping that shit all the time. Fuck you talking about? All right. Yeah, this looks like a good S tier to me. At the bottom of the S tier, we're gonna put Chief Keith. Sosa, that nigga Sosa got hella bangers. Can't lie, that nigga blew up when he was 16. He got, he he started this little trap shit, that Chicago shit. And that shit is tough as nails. Cannot go wrong with it. After Sosa, we got Future, player himself. Ran the trap game for a while. Coding crazy, March Madness. So it's only right he go in S tier. All right, this is where bias comes into play a lot because what I'm about to do here is like some extremely biased shit. I'm gonna put Eminem here. Eminem is probably better at rapping than all of these niggas, but this is like a favorites kind of tier list, right? This is favorites, right? Eminem's gonna go there. I can, I, I have, I can name like 30 Eminem songs off the top of my head, easy. It's very rare you hear a bad Eminem song, especially all his old shit. He's really good. He's one of the only rappers, he, no, fuck that. He's the only rapper that black people, they literally say he's black. We accept him on some shit. So that's how you know it's different with him. That's how you know. So I guess this four really shows I'm a young nigga, in it? We're gonna put X. 2017, this nigga came out. He was in jail when I first listened to him. The first song I heard was Look At Me. I'm sure a lot of you for that. Uh, for a lot of you, that was his first song you heard. That shit was tough. I went back. I heard I Don't Wanna Do This Anymore. That's his little softer side. And then when he got out of jail, bro started going crazy. He was dropping. And then he tried to turn his life around made himself more likable and then he was taken from us in 2018 
I think that if he didn't die, he would have ran 2019 and probably 2020 as well. But I guess we'll never know. But yeah, for me, X is in S tier. He was one of my favorites back in the day. After X, Juice World. The thing about Juice World is, I wasn't always fucking with Juice World like that. And then I realized this, this nigga had 300, like 3,000 songs unreleased that we've never heard of. If you listen to those, you realize that. If you listen to those, you realize him and Wayne are on like the same level of rapping. No bullshit. This nigga makes songs off the top of his head in 30 minutes, the same way that, that, that Wayne does. They got fucking around. Look it up. Look that shit up. You'll see. It's, it's on the internet. Just look it up. But that shit takes skill. He rapped for a fucking hour. An hour. Just look it up. That's all I gotta say. I gotta go with Lil Uzi Bird, man. Lil Uzi Bird. Uzi is tough as nails. 2015, we heard Uzi Money Longer. 2016, he ran 2016 with the Migos. And that's where he got one of his highest charted songs. XL Tour Life, I think it peaked number two. And he just recently got a number one song, just wanna rock. But before that, he didn't, that was his peak. XL Tour Life. But really, Uzi has like 20 different songs that could be, could have been number one. Life Goes On, Do What I Want, you know, old shit like that. P's and Q's. Love Is Rage 2, both his Love Is Rage albums are both hard as hell. He has classic songs. You can make like 10 different top tens, and I might agree with all of them. He started this mumble rap bullshit, popularized it, made me fuck with it. He's really one of the only niggas that got away with it too. Him and Cardi, I guess. But yeah, Uzi, S. You know, this is a debate niggas always talk about. Kanye and Drake, this is a debate. If we look at it, if we go hit for hit, Kanye has more hits than Drake. But I'ma put Kanye at number two. And when Kanye was really dropping consistently, Kanye was dusting that nigga Drake. I can name 20 Kanye songs and compare it to 20 of Drake's best songs. It's going to look nuts. It's going to make Drake look like he don't be dropping bangers like that. But it's not because they're not bangers. It's because it's just Kanye. I promise you. If I ox battle a nigga and I have Kanye, I'm not going to lose. Unless it's fucking Michael Jackson or some crazy shit. And then number one is Drake. Drake is number one. That nigga make all genres of music, bro. He be making the music that you cry to. He make the music you in the car bumping that shit. He make music that you fuck to. All types of shit, bro. You gotta go with Drake number one. That's a given. To this day, Drake is the biggest rapper. He's for um, all the streaming niggas now, all the young niggas. Stay irrelevant. Drake hasn't been irrelevant for the past 10 years. So you gotta put Drake in number one, bro. Top of the S. Let's review this list one more time. Let's just scroll, look at it. What we thinking, what we thinking? Let me know what we're thinking, guys. Let me know what you guys think. This is my opinion right here. Drake, Future, all these niggas. Tough. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think that's a good list. That's a good little tier list right there. That's just me, though. Let me know what you guys listen to. You cannot come for me for this shit. This is what you listen to. Cardi is ass. Oh, shit. Cardi's mid. My bad. I don't know what's worse, mid or ass. But yeah, let me, get, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more. Share the video with your friends. See what they think about it. They might agree, they might disagree. It's all good. I'm always down to listen to other people's opinion. I keep an open mind. Yeah, but without further ado, I'm going to get up on out of here, man. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Every crime except rape. Lips on my savage like I'm out the egg. We call the body and still beat the case. Moving to slummy days, switch up the pace.